Last March, American toy maker Mattel closed its first flagship Barbie store, the House of Barbie, in Shanghai after two years struggling since opening in 2009. Mattel invested over $30 million in the House of Barbie in celebration of the American Iconic Doll's 50th anniversary. The concept was that Barbie is not just a fashion for a doll, she would also be a lifestyle symbol and cultural icon for girls and young women. The six-story building had the world's largest collection of Barbie dolls and affiliated products such as children's bedroom furniture and young women's clothes. It also features a fashion runway, a design studio, a stunning spiral staircase decorated with 800 Barbie dolls, and a cafe on the top floor. Many analysts pointed to the fact that Barbie is a Western doll and is too sexy for Chinese girls. The reality is, however, that Chinese girls actually like the blonde Barbie better than the localized Chinese Barbie called Ling. Before the House of Barbie was launched, Barbie dolls had been sold in China and were relatively well received by Chinese girls. When I first bought a Barbie doll for my niece about 10 years ago, I was surprised to find out that she already had a couple of them. So, what are the real reasons that the House of Barbie failed to live up to its expectation? Recently, I spoke to the general manager of Barbie Shanghai, Gar Crispel, about what went wrong with the House of Barbie and what lessons can be drawn from that experience. The first mistake Mattel made, in my opinion, is to have a standalone store before establishing Barbie as a strong brand in China. In America, Barbie is an iconic symbol of femininity for young girls. Over a period of 50 years, the brand has taken on a life of its own as Barbie assumed many roles of women. In China, Barbie is simply a doll. She is not associated with any cultural significance for Chinese girls or young women. Since Barbie is not a cultural icon in China as she is in America, Chinese consumers couldn't care less about Barbie branded products. The concept of the store is wrong, as Crispel pointed out. The Barbie fashion clothes for young women would only make sense if Barbie is a cultural icon and established lifestyle brand. Second, Mattel didn't quite understand what Chinese girls and young women want. The Chinese concept of femininity is very different from that of American. In China, feminine is more about sweet and soft rather than smart and strong, more about gentle and loving rather than dazzling and fashion-forward, 